Um, first of all, happy to be here, obviously. It's been a great project. The process has been so wonderful with Seth. Our discussions have been incredibly rich, which I'm sure you will get the great benefit of in the rehearsal processes. I will skip them right now. Um, my <laughs> You will see that this has been a very interesting project for us because we've had 4,000 people to get on a 30-foot proscenium. <laughs> and so it became a uh, form and function uh, issue, definitely. How to organize the space became as much an issue of what will it feel like. I usually love to start with the feel like. And we really had to start with how's this thing going to work on stage. Uh, it's it's a, a, a quietly complex piece, I call it. And there really is a lot of uh, it, things to shift around and people and places to get to. And, a, and what we wanted, hopefully, was a reasonably cinematic and unencumbered way. Um, so the other thing that we were really interested in was in having a somewhat fresh feel and at the same time still giving you the information you need to understand the basic where you are, a feeling where you are, time period where you are. Um, I tried to strip down the space as much as possible in the center, as you'll see because that's where so many people are, and take what traditionally becomes a backdrop and kind of push it to the side of this space. And that was just a, a nice, interesting, hopefully fresher way to give you uh, a lot of information, but that it's not straight on at you a lot of times. Uh, when we come into the space, we are using the act curtain in there at the top of the show. Uh, we also thought rather untraditionally about, do you always have to use it, even though you use it the first time? Interesting discussions. When we come into the first uh, scene, what we'll actually come to becomes almost a mini second act curtain, which will be this image. Uh, this image, and then this ends up revealing the model to you, as you can see it's sitting here. This image kind of sits in what becomes a pretty clear, simple space in form. Um, and this image was chosen because it's wonderfully representative, and you'll have to come up here and explore the model, of course. It's wonderfully representative of the political cartoons that were going on in time, and it is an adaptation of one of the political cartoons, and it just kind of encompasses in a very, there's, a, there's an abstraction to it because it's very large. Uh, there's definitely a bit of a demonstrative quality to it that it puts the monkey right there and gets it out of the way. Okay? <laughs> there it is. <laughs> and the simple scratching of the head and then everything on it becomes this, am I man or monkey? The whole thing uh, becomes about this question. And so this sets up the first scene with the children. It goes away never to return. But that's that basically it's also how we get that kind of a big statement that happens that goes away. Then we're done. We're done with you, monkey. She needs us to go paint the monkey. <laughs> this is kind of a positive. This is an idea that went away, but you get a feeling of what the monkey looks like in the space. Uh, this, at this point, the monkey was being used with the first courtroom scene, the small courtroom scene, which it's not now. The small courtroom scene is the table and a light isolated. The monkey's for the kids. But to get a feeling, whoops, sorry, for how this sits in the space, this also introduces you to another little device that's in the set. If you see where it feels like over here, there's light coming through windows. All the state side panels all have slits in them with different shapes. And so when we go into some of the nighttime scenes, we can use light, try not to get in your space, use light <laughs> to help also change the feel and the form of the space. Um, once you go through a series of steps here, and I'm going to jump you to a scene where Grady's coming in, and we put up the sign that says, read your Bible, and people are coming in, and all this for the, the big, what becomes the kind of the political pep rally. Um, and then once I show you, I'll show you the side walls in a minute. Um, the key element to the set, set, once Brady enters, becomes the read your Bible. And that kind of looms over our head the whole time. And this is what the space ends up feeling like. Wow. The walls are actually more present here than they will seem on stage. I forced the perspective a little bit so that you would see them. But that information get, recedes a little more than it would here. But this is the feel of the space you start that you start getting from this. Um, I'm sorry, it just, uh, is that towards the rear? It is, it's very much, it's completely, oh look, oh my god. Also our railings are gone, they had a shipping disaster. So it ends up lifting up behind that back bridge, so it's very much the back. It's also a translucent drop, and so our friend over there is going to have a lot of fun playing with uh, the foreground background there. 
Um, the, the next important thing about the set is, where's the court? <laughs> this became huge discussions about how the court happens. Um, these will all be up here and hung up so you can see. Um, well, before we get to the court, the first thing we have is the Drummond entrance. And that is certainly set up as a very dramatic entrance. He will actually enter on top of the bridge. We've talked about rather dramatic lighting. Don't let this prejudice you. This is just a way to discuss with the director the potential of a set. But he's going to be isolated up on the top of that bridge. And you'll have a very dramatic side lit moment with him up there. Who's drumming? Ah. Oh. Yes, that's where it is. Um, <laughs> I'm just doing an edit. Could you see the edit? I'll tell you the edit later. Um, after you find your moment. Um, so what happens is to get into the court, he is standing there, then through lots of blood, sweat, and grunts, the center part of the set actually turns. That bridge turns around with him standing on it, and as he literally stands there, and if he's here, it's turning, and by him just simply standing in space, the court swings into space, and he's now at the top of the court. Okay? And then as he descends down the stairs, then the jury follows him in, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It comes in, and the courtroom builds around that. So that, was, that became our principal way to figure out how to make this work.